Hello folks, welcome. Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon. There's quite a few folks still using that out there. I have several computers that have still Linux Mint 21 on it. Uh, it's a good system and more importantly it's going to be available for several more years. Today's video I'm going to rehash some things that is not fully understood called actions. Actions are something that have tools that affect your whole system. I'm going to explain a little bit uh, more detail about that for the folks that are, well, not too sure what they do. So in either case, folks, welcome. I'm filming in 1080. Please adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. Subscription key in the corner. Uh, well over 440 videos and all kinds of tips and tricks. So I'm going to talk about actions today. Actions affect your system. So I'm going to go to the system settings. You can, of course, right click on your panel bar and go the same route and talk about actions. Actions are something that affects our menus, our file manager and right clicking on your screen. So right clicking on my screen currently has create folder, new document, a new launcher, add desk lets, change background, display settings, terminal root and customize. I've shown almost all of these kind of settings before in various videos. Today I'm going to add a screenshot tool in here and also restarting cinema just to give you two examples. All right. We can also um, uh, change some of the settings in here as far as uh, adding tools to your file manager also and removing tools if you're not aware of this. So actions affect your whole system. Now the ones with the lock symbols are well, they're locked. You can't turn them, you can't uninstall them, but you can turn them off. To give you a primary example of that, right click, I have add desklets. If you don't want that anymore, you turn it off. I don't know why you'd want that, but now I can't add desklets by right clicking. Can I add a desklet by going through the second way? Well, I could open up a second instance of this and then I can look at desklets and then add the desklet manually. So far so good. All right, I'm going to turn the calendar off. All right, but that just removed that by right clicking. I find it very convenient to have this. But then again, you may see see it differently. All right, so basically, uh, let me reactivate that. I apologize. I thought I turned that on. Uh, now that's there. So these are just tools that are on by default. So um, we have display settings. You probably want that on well unless you don't want to see that anymore to well change your display settings. Again I'm filming in 1080. What if I turn that off? Well then it's removed from this menu. It's as simple as that. All right well what what about uh, some of these other tools that are in here like set wallpaper? How does that affect this when you're doing change background. Well, change background is this tool. Setting as wallpaper, though, can be affected in your file manager. I'll give you an example. So our user for today is Frank. It's just a made up name. If I wanted that butterfly, for instance, to be my new wallpaper or background, I could right click and set it as wallpaper, correct? Yes. Very simple to do. Or I can hit the spacebar to verify what the thumbnail looks like before I do that. Spacebar I've shown many times before. A lot of people do not know about these shortcuts. I have other videos for entire uh, tips and tricks on the file manager. I'm going to remove that right here from actions. And it will remove that item in my file manager immediately. Now if I click on this one JPEG for the butterfly and right click, I don't have that option anymore to set it as wallpaper. The other thing that you will notice, and uh, some of you folks haven't probably dug deep enough in here, is if you do the edit preferences, you know, the file manager properties preferences, your plugins have something missing because I turned it off here. Now I can reactivate it either here, you'll see the check mark turn on, or I can activate it here by hitting plus. So yes, this has an integration with your system is what I'm getting at. 
All right, let's continue now. So we have lots of toys that we can turn on. We can also go to downloads and turn some more on. I'm going to put a screenshot tool in here and how to restart cinnamon for two things that I want to add to this menu. This is the right clicking on your screen menu. All right, so let's take a look at some of these toys, like take a screenshot. I'm going to do the add, right click. We don't have anything yet. Why? Because I just installed it, but I need to go to manage to turn it on. It doesn't have a check mark, so it's not being displayed. Right click, take a screenshot. This will be the type that you need to draw a box. You can open up the screenshot tool in a different way also. I'm just going to draw a box around this thing. All right, so now you can go and take a look at the screenshot. We can now uh, save it as, put it wherever we want. It's currently sitting in picture screenshots. Okay. Don't like that tool? Turn it off. It's not there anymore. If I wanted to uninstall it, I just do it this way. So let's go back and talk about restarting Cinnamon. Why would you want to restart Cinnamon to begin with? Now I've talked about this over the years, uh, why restarting Cinnamon sometimes is necessary. And did you probably, you probably don't know that uh, restarting Cinnamon is an option that is usually on. And what I mean by that, it restarts Cinnamon sometimes automatically. Sometimes when you're doing updates and you may not even notice it because it'll be so fast. It'll just blink your panel bar for a second. So I'm going to um, hit manage and turn that on. So it'll be part of this menu now. So restarting Cinnamon, I'm going to back this out of the screen, is also found in general. Restart Cinnamon when it uses too much memory. Now, if you got like, let's say you got, um, I don't know, 100 gigabytes of RAM, you may want to turn that off, for instance. I'm just throwing out a number at you. It's an option to restart Cinnamon when it uses too much memory, but it's normally on by default. How many ways can you restart Cinnamon? Well, we can try our new setting, right click, restart. That's one way. I can use Alt and F2, small r. That's another way. I can, if I can see the panel bar, right click, troubleshoot, restart cinema. So I've talked about this before when you are using suspend mode on some machines, not all. Sometimes when you come out of suspend mode, the panel bar is black and most people panic and turn their computers on and off. You don't really need to do that. In most cases, you can do the Alt F2 small r. Even though you may not see the, the words in there properly, you can still do this. And it should return your panel bar. Restarting Cinnamon is not the same as logging in and out of your system or doing a full restart. Okay, restarting Cinnamon just means it restarts the interface. It's not logging you out. I'm, I'm still filming and I've restarted Cinnamon at least four times so far. All right, I'm going to get back on topic. Actions. So that's one of the tools. And you can place it in this menu if you like. Or not. If you can remember those keyboard combinations, they're always good to also remember. That would be Control, Alt, and Escape. Alt and F2, small r. And then if you do have a panel bar, then you can troubleshoot Restart Cinema. Now, the suspend mode sometimes on, depending, I have one machine that does this. Actually, I think I have two, uh, two computers that do this. They'll give me a black panel bar if I left it in suspend mode for a long time. When I um, come back out of it, I, all I do is do an Alt and F2, uh, small r, and that puts my panel back online. I don't have to reboot the machine. Let's go back to downloads. So you may not like any of these things. You may like some of them. You certainly are not going to install all of them. That's a rarity. But more importantly, you can see a lot of different tools that are in here. 
whole bunch of them. All right, so convert a WebP into and a WebM into a PNG slash MP4. Some people may be interested in that, or maybe not. Send to printer. Well, I, that's an option, yes. But uh, a lot of people may not want that. But then again, if you got, let's take a document for instance. Um, I'll just do stiff time. If I right click, there's no option for me to send that to the printer. So let's see what we get when we install that. And then turn that on. Now let's walk over to the file manager and print file. Turn that back off. It's not there anymore. All right, so basically I'm gonna turn that on. Right click, print file. Sending to the printer. It's actually printing without me asking a thing. You'll hear my printer kick on in a second. It's actually in the same room that I'm filming from. If you can hear that rumbling noise, that's my printer. All right, now that I made a lot of noise, hopefully it'll quiet down for a second here after it done. it's doing its printing business. Let's go back to downloads. I'm gonna have to speak up a little bit since that's kind of noisy. So in either case, we have, um, and you can see I got a status message and more importantly, we have lots of tools in here. Again, it just takes you to turn these things on and off. So, and don't forget that when you open up your file manager, there's quite a few tools in here. You can do a shortcut and go to plugins if you like. That brings up the file management preferences and the bottom menu. Okay, so you can see that I have lots of different tools that are turned on, including the one I've just turned on print files okay disable enable in case you find one missing you can certainly turn these on the same thing goes with this category okay so action items again affect a lot of things in your system you may not like a lot of these tools but they are available to you Linux Mint 22 also has these tools and they have a third option, actually, but essentially they do the same kind of job. This stuff integrates with your system. And hopefully that was a good explanation on this stuff. Thank you for watching.